Hey guys, Peter over here. So I'm sitting on this fantastic chair. Can you guys see what it is? So I'm gonna get up in a second and Carlos is gonna shoot a B-roll on this. It's a beautiful piece of history here turned into actual half a couch. It's a 1957 Bel Air um, that is just fantastic. Probably the guy that I got it from, good friend of mine, he said it was done about 25 years ago, so mid 90s. They did a wonderful job. This is a real letter, uh, fantastic piece, love it. Grandma was wearing this watch, or the grandma got it from somebody else, or because it was very popular in the 80s. Okay, yeah. if you look very close on this watch, right on top there's a date, 1988, on it. and every year, every few months they would release new swatches, and it was just a cool thing to have. You know, a lot of kids, teenagers would wear these watches. Um, so it's like six. But do you know, was she the one wearing it or she's the one that somehow ended up with it, huh? One of us kids. <laughs> Probably uh, so one of you guys back in the 80s were running around with this little watch, you know? So. Yeah, but um, um, they gave it to my grandma though. I think maybe so, Nana gave it. Like you said, like I told you, all these watches right here. You're not interested. I'm not interested because they don't have collectible kind of value to them, they just, back in the day even, let's say in 1995, this watch was like $45, you know what I mean? And now it's worth five, six bucks, you know what I mean? So just, there's no money in these. They're not vintage enough to bring any money. This on the other hand, just to give you an idea here. So these are some of the swatches and they were very colorful, see? Like they had very bright colors that would represent something. Um, here's a pink one, here's a yellow with a yellow top, here's a black one similar to yours, like yours is black. Yeah, that's similar. And, and you see what kind of prices they're selling for. So like $20, $30, $32. Look at this one. This one was very desirable with that dial, 108 bucks. Um, so you have to know which one will bring which money, but like look at this one, 49 bucks, you know, because it's got this cool design on it, it's some kind of, something from some kind of video game, you know, a pure white one here just sold for 16. Here's one that it has like a yellowish colors, 24. But there's some, like look at this, how colorful this, is this one, $56. Now this watch is probably worth about 25, 30 bucks. That's about it. But still, you got to put a battery in it, you know, to make sure that it, that it runs. Um, I will take a shot on it that it runs and I can offer you like 15 bucks for it. I'm going to put a new battery in it. I'm going to try to sell it for probably about $35. But I can offer you like $15 on this watch if you like. Okay, what about these Pokemon cards? So, unfortunately, I don't deal with Pokemon cards unless they're graded. Okay? Uh, it's just too many unknowns there, and they have to be kind of pristine color. I mean, shape overall. You want to look at them? Any, anything stands out to you? No, but I do know that the yep. corners, yep. you know. So that's the main thing. When you're dealing with cards, guys who buy this kind of stuff, they want stuff that it's pristine, you know? Anything else? Um, no. No, that's it? So you want to do that or what? What do you want to do? What are you thinking? Ask your dad. He'll tell you. He'll help you. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Okay, we'll give you 
You, you want to sell it then, right? Maybe yeah. okay. the better we So I will need your dad ID so right. I can write you up and I'll we'll get None you None of the coin back. stores uh, um, uh, were, um, uh, were interested yeah. in them okay. though. So we went to like HC stamp store uh -huh. and like uh, um, yeah, the guy looked at all of them. It was just like, um, yeah. I, I only know like interesting. I, I, I only know like old ones, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. See the reason the, the, the guys who want to buy the old ones because the old ones will have quite a bit of value, vintage watches. Now these are not old enough, you know. These are watches that are from 90s and, and early 2000s, and they're so common they don't bring any money. But like this is already from 80s, and this is 40 years old, and it becomes collectible. That's why it's worth a little bit of money. And the more fa more fancy and cool colors you find, the more money you will bring. You know. You will like it. You like huh? this? Well, me myself, I'm not a fan of this. But there are people who just collect these, you know, because they have big collections, they want to get these watches, you know? So, mm -hmm. okay. see, like, this is a very similar to yours. See this one? Yeah. That's Sold really for $22, similar. you know? And okay. this one is from 1984, yours is from 1988. All right, my friend, Thank 15 you. bucks for you, okay? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. So I started this window and it's done halfway, but I started with old train stuff. Everything that you see on this window, all the signs are uh, about trains. So any of you guys have any signs with the trains, I would love to get some. And then I still have one more window left here. I haven't decided what kind of, what kind of uh, team we're gonna do there. But look, look. Three weeks later, still here. Nobody took it down. Love it. What are you dragging in there? It looked, uh, it looked heavy. It is heavy. Let, let me see. Can I talked to this here. fellow yesterday about some hand tools and I okay. went through my toolbox. Well, if I would have had to pay you by a pound, <laughs> it doesn't look like a good deal for me. So just random tools. It's not all random. There's there's sets in there. Um, I've got it pretty well sorted. So okay. Um, in fact, I've got a list here. Of what's there? Um, so it's like a full set here. It's a full uh, set. May I borrow a pen from you? Yeah, yeah. These are all U.S. Mostly craftsmen. Most everything in here is craftsmen in U.S. This is not. This is Taiwan. This is not. I see. Yeah. yeah. This is not. This is not. These are lifetime guarantee though. Bunch of long, different sizes, screwdriver, look yeah, like I they're all, 20, most, most of them are craftsmen here. Most are craftsmen, yeah. there's one or two crap ones that I just threw in that I don't okay. even value, so that's gear that's wrench. That's a gear wrench, yeah, ratchet, yeah. Yeah. Those are China or Taiwan right, or whatever. Right. They're good though, I beat the hell out of them. In this and then just a bunch of different wrenches. Wrench huh? sets, yeah. Yeah, okay. I just have so much stuff, I just don't right. need it anymore. And they guarantee them forever, so. They still do? Here's the thing, they don't carry it anymore, so yeah. they'll give you a Stanley. Oh, they do, okay. Yeah. Some of them are brand new, still with the label on them. I don't okay. like this one. I, I got two so, sets. But they're like big this. ones. Yeah, it's all the way see. from quarter to inch. It's 14 pieces. Okay. It's all the US made uh, V series. I mean, it's a good good mix of uh, of different, you know, tools and sets. I throw away junk, so you know. Then there's some what's what's in a baggie? Uh, they're just old, like collector. You know, you get so many guys that collect all these old wrenches and stuff. That's old school cool. stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's okay. I think half a dozen in there. Okay. These are old craftsmen. This is pre-war. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? I mean, talk to me. What do well, you I mean? Let's you know, go item by item. Tell me what you. Tell me what you think. Here. I'll be. I'll be honest with you. Okay. No item by item. The whole box, the way it sits here, I can offer you like eighty-five bucks. I can sell this for that. But then sell it. Okay. You All know right. what I mean? I gotta make money here. I get it. I, no, I get it. I mean, sets like this, from from that PM stuff. I will get maybe 15, 20 bucks here. You should get 20 bucks for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, craftsmen, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'll get like 
25 30 bucks you know okay. for like a complete set so between i mean i can bump it up maybe to like a hundred i'm trying to double my money yeah I'm i get it i'm thinking if i pay you a hundred hopefully i can get a couple hundred out of this you know because stuff like this though these i'm selling three four five bucks a piece you know what i mean okay so well let's just, take this out of the equation and let's see what did i have here i mean what were you thinking for everything you know just take this away and i'll take 150. i can't i can't you make I money just, I can't. Take, take, I, tell I you sell a lot of these used tools by itself and I get a few bucks for them, you okay. know. If you get it's, a guy that recognizes good tools. Well, it's not exactly snap on old blue point here. No, okay? that's all that's at home. So, but Actually, you know, what, you know, I know mean? what? There is a couple of blue points in here, I think. But you know what I mean? That's yeah. when I get the top dollar and you know it. it. So stuff like this, it's, it's kind of... And I think that's a good offer, a hundred bucks and me trying to double my money here, basically. I mean, that's, I got a business to run. Tell you what, why don't you give this another look. I'm going to hang on to this. And I got a couple other things in the car. Okay. All right. What what kind of stuff you got in the car? Uh, I, my wife asked me what I was doing, and she gave me a couple of things to show you. Okay. So. All right, I'll go out there. Are you going to bring them in? I can or, bring them in for you. Okay. Yeah, it's in a bag. So. Okay. Right, this I got this, too. If, uh, if you think that's something you could sell. Okay. So it's a little Coleman, little Coleman. compressor, yeah. basically. And okay. also too, it's got the inlet, so you can use it as a vacuum pump. Oh, I see. So okay. you can do you can do either with it. Okay. Works fine. I just use it as a tire inflator, but I've got a big compressor, so I really don't yeah. need it. And it's perfect. It's a little guy. Yeah, if you want to, you know, do quickly some tires in a garage, and you know. It'll pump a tire up quick. It doesn't have enough volume for like, you know, Running tool it. toys and stuff like that. That you need a blower. Oh yeah. But it'll do tires and stuff okay. quick. So. Okay. Well, something like this for me is like 10 bucks. Okay, we're not doing good so far. All right, so here's my wife's <laughs> okay. stuff. All right. Oh, and I got one more thing too here. I don't know if you do much with collectible junk. This is something my blood, a buddy of mine is a, collects old 50s stuff. Okay. All right. I bought this for him. It was supposed to be a gift. He well, he decided to die. So <laughs> okay. So it's brand new in remote the box. Remote control tuner. It's a remote control. You stick this on the knob of the old TV sets, and you control it. And from control there. it here, so it goes click, click, yep, yep, click, click. Yep, so. You know, I I just recently sold like the original first Zenith remote control. Big two buttons on top. Uh, space command. Me. Yeah, Space Command. Yeah, I remember it. Maybe all silver, black case, two mm. white buttons on top. So maybe not. That might space be even command. earlier. Might be even earlier. It's like you turn it on, yeah. and the other one is just you going forward with with a channel, and that's it. Just Nothing two else. buttons. Two buttons. No, I don't remember that. That's one. all. That's all it is on it. You know. So yeah, this is a cool piece. Definitely different. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it's worth. I know what I paid for it, but I yeah. thought it was a gift. So. More than novelty than anything, but it's absolutely. just a cool, cool piece to display and, and it sits on your shelf. People go, what is that? It's, it's absolutely, Conversation worth, it's absolutely piece. worthless. You know? Yeah. Um, once again, something like this from me would be like 10 bucks too. Okay. You know? All right. You know what? I'll, so, I paid $50 for this. So, so, so okay. Okay. Now, here's my wife's stuff. These are both brand new things I suspect were gifts. Okay. This I've looked up, I got no idea what that yeah. sells for. So this is a wine, electric wine opener, right? right? That you can rechargeable and stuff. Yeah. So this I would be interested in, this I would not. I just don't sell things like this, you okay. know, because as you see everything in my shop, it's more like a man cave yeah, yeah, yeah. type. So this will still sell, some guy will see it and pick yeah. it up, you know. Uh, but once again, like 10 bucks. Okay, all right. And this I will say no, so. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna bring everything home. Okay. Um, if you want to do anything more on those tools yeah, or if you want to take another yet, look, we, uh, I mean, listen, listen, if you want, I know you took out that mm -hmm. one piece, I'll still mm -hmm. give you a hundred bucks for it, but I don't want to go any higher. So it's totally your call. Uh, let me see you what I got. If, let me see if you what feel I got. comfortable with that, we'll, we'll have a deal. If Maybe. Not, let me then. see what I got. Let me see what I got. 
Because you took out those big wrenches, right? How much money? Yeah. Those, the ones in a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's $100 wow. to, to the right guy. Uh, I know a guy who will probably want the ones that you didn't know anything about. These and the little wrenches to go with it. Okay. So let me keep these, those wrenches. I'll give you the box. Give me a hundred bucks. No, then I'm going to pass actually. Really? I'm going to pass because now, you know, you're, you're taking stuff out. Because I already stuff bumped I, off the price. It's you stuff know, I know I can sell. So. This is just stuff I know I can sell. Because I know a guy who wants this brand of tools. I've sold him stuff before. The PM stuff? Yeah. And I actually, yeah. I sent him a message this morning. He hasn't gotten back to me. Um, I suspect he just hasn't seen the message. So. So I'll, um, I'll go down to 85 then. Take those, I'll take the 15 bucks off, you know, and, and I'm sure you'll probably get, like you said, maybe he'll give 30 me 20, bucks. He'll give me 20 bucks for these. So, uh, I'm, 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 I'm straight shooter here. I, I, no, I, understand, I think, I understand. you know, I'm, I'm trying to double my money, you know what right. I mean? So what do you want to do? What would you, what would you sell these for? He's I, asking me what I want. He's, you know, I just... Well, like I said, I just sell. Them, I just prob probably this, me, I probably this, fifteen, twenty bucks, and again, and if you do make a set, maybe like twenty-five bucks to make okay. it like a package deal. Okay. You know, uh, and these are about five pounds, so you know, shipping them for ten bucks depends where they go. Um, you know what you do is you use the flat rate. Well, I know. Yeah. I know, but you gotta. So you you put that in the medium flat rate box. Put it in a flat rate envelope. That won't fit. You take it off the rail and it does. Can't well, it. yeah. The rails, I don't want the rail. He doesn't want the okay. rail. I well, just then if you do it in a rail, then you're shipping for $9. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I do it all day long, so. Yeah, okay. So you tell me what you want to do. Listen, I'll still give you $100. i will bump up another $5 for this, and I'll give you 15 for that and 85 for that. Because I'm going to get 25 bucks out of this. That's all it's worth. You I know, know what I mean? I know, I know. So I was thinking 20 and... So where are we at now? 100 100 and... With this? 85 because you took these out and yeah. I'm giving you 15 for these. So we are back at the 100 bucks. And if you can part these out and sell to somebody I don't individually. Want to buy them. I don't want to buy them. Because otherwise it's garage sale. Like, yes. well, that's I where know. I come in. Yeah. You get a quick 100 and you go. You know what? <laughs> and I worry about it. I spend all day. Sir, all just... day. You put something for a quarter and some fucker wants to give you a nickel for it. You know, you just want to hit him. So you know my pain. I, I got stuff pain. here I and people will come up. I got 20. I'll give you five bucks. I'm I like, know. come on. I, I paid more. Right. So, you know. If I can get a hundred bucks for this, I'll let it go. Okay. But I'm, he hasn't called me back, so I don't know what he's going to do on this. But I know what a guy will buy. It's just a matter of what. Okay. So if you do a, if you do a hundred on this, you'll make your money. Okay. Know. Including that little compressor, right? No. Come on, man. You're not working right, with me, me here. Thank you. Then give me 15. Okay. I'm, I'm going to pass on it then. Okay. I'll do the 100 bucks on this, okay? Okay. You can keep the compressor. All so. right. All right. I do need your idea. I'll write you up. For it. All right. 20, 40, 60, 80. Thank you, okay? Yep. Thank you. Hello. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Take care. All right, take care. Oh, that's local. Part of the old town. Yeah. yeah. Those, Those I already up. kind of looked at. I pulled up a random couple. I just have to see what he wants. They're all Illinois. This is mainly what I was having issues with. Just okay. Because there's a string of whisper. Um, cool box. This looks like new. Yeah. I think most of them are going to be in that range between like... This was like a cheap old $15 watch. Um, there's this one I was kind of unsure about. That's also Citizen Echo Drive. There was a couple of citizens here I saw. This one. But I just... The store, some know. of the store will bring a few dollars, but... I don't know what in there we might want, so... Okay. I got a couple more boxes to go through. Are you interested in air tools at all? Uh, so when it comes to air tools, I'm then really only looking for like Blue Point, Snap On, Matco, sure. you know, okay. those those better brands, yeah, you know. Yeah. I've gotten away from air, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. You know what, Ronnie? 
<laughs> yeah, I find life is absolutely useless now that since cell phones come Yeah, out. right. Yeah, but people like to sometimes, you know, when they dress up, you know, they like to put a nice watch. And that's what these are here, you know. You put a nice, you know, dress shirt or a nice suit, mm. you want to put a nice watch because you're going, I don't know, to some kind of nice wedding or something, you know. So mm. that's what they are. I, to be honest with you, I don't know if I even want this. There's few here that will will make few dollars, but, you know, like the... It's going to be a time process. Michael Courses here and the, the fossils. Was he regular or what's the story? First time I've seen him. Okay. All right, well, he, when he comes in, we'll talk. If you are wearing a nice outfit or you got a nice dress shirt, yeah. you want a nice watch yeah. to go with it, you know? All these, uh, uh, I pull the stems out so the batteries don't wear down that, okay. but they all do work. Yeah. Here's my thing. I normally don't buy watches unless they're a little bit more high end. Okay. When they're, you know, Rolexes or Megas or Bradlinks, you know, like Michael Kors or or Fossils or, or Gas, they're not easy for me to sell. Now you do have a couple watches here that are a little bit better, you know, like you have the Chanel, you got a couple nice Bulabas, you got a couple Citizens here, but... And I, you know, to be honest with you, we're moving, so anything I can get for them just so I don't have to put the shit in the truck, I don't care. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, all this stuff, uh -huh. except that Denon receiver that you got there, okay. I would pass. I'm okay. not going to be interested in it. So okay. the receiver, possibly the watches, and a nice collection of patches. You okay. must have been collecting this yeah. for a while. Yeah. And I got all, the router table back here. Too. And what oh, about the router the, table? Yeah, yeah. What about the infinity speakers? Those, those standing there. here, I'm going to oh. pass on those. Oh. I just got too many. Oh, do you? Okay. I have so many speakers here right okay. now that I got to say no. So. Between the watches, the patches, the receiver, and the router table, what were you trying to get out of it? Any idea? You Shoot name me, me a, price. a number. I, I, I don't know. I wish you know because I hate naming the price. No, hey, because you're not going to offend me because I said I'm moving to Tennessee and I don't want all this shit to go with me. <laughs> Pop me a price. I don't care. Uh, Swiss legend, Michael Kors. So I'm going to give you a separate price on the watches okay. and then I'll give you a separate price on, uh, on these. The, okay. The the receiver, the Denon receiver. Okay. Uh, it's a little older, but I sell that kind of stuff. Okay. So that that goes. The router and the patches, I can offer you eighty five bucks for everything. No, no, no. Oh, okay. For those three okay. items, the watches, uh, two hundred bucks. It's done. You done. know. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, if you want that stuff to put in your story, I'm donating it to you. Okay. Okay. So if you want to do that, I'll grab it. I'll throw a couple bucks on it. The reason I'm passing because if I already have few, yeah, yeah. it's supply and demand. Yeah, because you know if I if I'm not going to have any place to put that stuff. Okay. You know, and uh, you know the only thing I'll take back is I'll give these to my son. So those little ones, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. For it. All right. So we got two eighty-five. You Works. got it. Perfect. I do okay. need your idea, and yeah. Ryan will write you up. Yeah. And then just keep the rest of that stuff and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Okay. I want to talk about the clip that I posted yesterday. It was a short video, one minute video on my channel that I talk about a bad buy. It was a little uh, metal sculpture. Carlos is going to pop up the little short video what I'm talking about. But when I said a bad buy, I meant that I pretty much didn't make any money on this item. And people in comments are commenting, well, why are you upset? You paid $20, you sold it for 40 you doubled your money. I want to break it down actually how that works when you're running a store like mine and you're selling stuff on eBay that buying something for 20 and selling for 40 actually doesn't make any sense. Let me break this down. So I bought the item for $20, right? It sold for 40. So technically, yes, there's a $20 profit. You almost double your money. Now I also charge eight dollars for shipping okay ebay takes 15 percent from the sale including the shipping so from 48 dollars ebay will take 15 percent and i'm include i'm rounding that up because it's usually about 12 percent or so plus three dollars for a processing fee for your payment so about 15 percent which comes out to about seven bucks, okay? 
and then you have uh, also a fee of your lister so let's say this item took half an hour uh, let's say 20 minutes it took 20 minutes if you're paying somebody let's say 15 bucks an hour it cost five dollars to list this okay and then you also have this item on eBay for several months this particular item was in there for six months and if you don't have an eBay store eBay will charge you 35 cents for every month that you put a listing so six months that's additional two dollars okay um, that adds up really quickly so all of a sudden what, what happens is forty dollars minus twenty so twenty dollar profit that everybody thinks minus seven minus five minus two and then you still have to pack this ship it right so you got your box your bubble wrap your printing paper your ink everything at least one dollar on that and all of a sudden what are my fees here this is fifteen dollars just in fees i'm left over with five dollars profit if i'm lucky now i have a building to run i gotta put that in um somebody bought this item right for example what's your time worth let's say i'm making twenty dollars an hour and it took me fifteen dollars to buy this item of somebody did a whole negotiation so i just spent five dollars on buying this guess what i just made nothing so buying something for 20 setting on 40 in my situation makes absolutely no sense that's why i said it was a bad buy i hope that explains to some people telling me peter you doubled your money you should be happy cheers